hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to see how i met aurora in nuke okay so as you can see this is my script so i'm walk through the script from top to bottom to show you the exact process to getting this aurora uh, look i'm starting from here so as you can see uh, i have this this much scale and what i'm doing i'm stacking the three noises basically to make my the base shape of the aurora so the first noise is this one so this is a noise advance uh, nothing special i'm using this just for the animation purpose you can uh, use the default noise uh, what you have in the new it's the same thing uh, but i'm using this one to, uh, to to get the animation easily so as you can see if i use this one uh, i have this noise so this is basically the turbulence i'm using this one uh, grading this one uh, gamma down to get this kind of look and the uh, this side i have this normal noise uh, all noise are animated i'm crushing this one a bit and what i'm doing i'm uh, using this red and green from uh, this input a input and putting here to uh, do a eye distort distorting this one uh, with, with with this noise so as you can see uh, my amount is 300 and i'm then masking this one and and this one i have this very small noise and i'm putting this one in overlay mode so as you can see now i have this one this is animated as you can see we have this uh, base uh, pattern so that we can use in the, to make the aurora look so after that i'm just uh, uh, gain a little bit and then i'm putting everything in a, in a 3d system in you so there are a few advantage uh, that's why i'm putting this uh, this thing in a 3d as you can see i'm putting this one in a card and i'm rendering in the scan render to show the setup so this is this is the output i'm getting and if i uh, switch to 3d view you will see we have uh, uh, this card and we have a camera is looking up uh, upward to this to this just like in the real life so as you can see i'm rendering this one so we get a perspective and everything and it's animated as you can see so after that we are getting this pattern and the perspective so we can start building the aurora look so before uh, before making aurora what i'm doing here i'm because the scanner is outputting the depth channel by default so as you can see this is the depth we have as you can see so i'm using this depth to uh, basically cut out uh, the the far away part so as you can see so it's basically fading out so it's look like going in a uh, in a depth so as you can see okay now after that what we are using is a god rays to make the aurora look so as you can see this, this is my first god rays uh, if I on off, you will see what I am doing here. I show you the properties. What I am doing, I am first of all, I am placing the center point above, as you can see, outside the canvas. Then I am we are doing a scale. So as you can see, the point eight. If I reduce this one, I mean increase the one, as you can see, point eight, and as you can see, it's very low opacity. Uh, then I am using a grade node uh, to boost everything up. So as you can see so in the grid i'm setting all channels and boost, boosting a bit so and after that i'm just adding a color to show you so as you can see just a green color and then boosting a bit a bit more and in the same same thing i'm doing in this side so as you can see this is for this setting 0.7 this is for the purple one and i'm using this one just to <laughs> take down the highlight part of this uh, purple aurora so i'm then I'm merging green and purple together so this is my look and then i'm adding a saturation a bit here then exposing down a bit 0.5 and then blurring a little bit and i'm using again a noise just a normal noise to see the animation to add a little bit breakup as you can see and after that your aurora is done so you can uh, directly put uh, this one to your plate so i'm using this plate as you can see uh, if i disable uh, what i'm doing here all these things uh, just view this one as you can see this is look like this so after after this noise as you can see this is getting this look after this noise what i'm doing i'm adding a glow and i'm just ma masking it to make it behind this tree so and in here i'm adding a reflection in this water that's it and you get your aurora this is how you can make aurora in nuke i will also provide you the nuke file you can download the nuke file and check the whole script again if you want uh, so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and stay connected